Witcher Blood Origin has been live for two days now, four episodes following seven characters on their heroic journey against an emperor, an emperor, there's mages, there's magic, there's chaos, there's so much of this series, and yet, this has received less than 10%, I think it's got about 7% on the audience score, the lowest audience score in Netflix's history, and I want to find out why, so if you've seen it, let me down below in the comments, because I find it baffling, there is no way people have slated this this more than anything else in Netflix's catalog. Netflix has had some shit things, but this is nowhere near, nowhere near the worst thing they've ever produced. I find it to be a fantastic show with gritting action, with amazing storytelling that truly Im immerses us into the world of The Witcher from monsters and battles, and characters, and development. People are talking about how they cut two episodes. I'll be honest with you, there's nowhere else they could have fit two more full-length episodes to this storyline. The first three were brilliant set up for the seven becoming the seven. You know, their own journeys, their own issues, their own problems, their own outcasts. Um, and it was a fantastic way to bridge them together. A way to <coughs> wage them... <laughs> against the Empress, and to deliver a marvellous story that I think is in many ways on bar with the Witcher story. I don't understand, you know, you watch this and you watch the Witcher. Where is the difference? You have the Bard, you got the music, you got the elves, you got the humans that are introduced at the end, you got the witch, you got the battles, you got the blood, you got the gore, you got the armies, the huge scale this to them, the bow and arrows, the kingdoms, the, the nostalgia, the relationships, the dude who actually features in the Witcher series telling the tale, the narration, the overall setup, the build-up, the what do you more do you want from the Blood Origin series? It is a fantastic display of everything I've just said. From start to finish, it delivers on what you want as a Witcher fan. Don't always go off what the books or the games are going to deliver because adaptations are called adaptations for a reason. Spider-Man is done in multiple different versions. Batman, Superman, you know, whatever it may be, not every iteration is going to come full uh, to the forefront of what you think. Enjoy it for what it is. Enjoy it and experience that season three of The Witch is going to be fantastic because the bard <coughs> in this series, who was in episode one, episode four, he is truly a great actor. I'm glad he's still on board with the series, unlike Henry Cavill, who's going to be leaving after season three. But I think what they did in this series was set up what is set to be probably the strongest Witcher series. And I hope Cavill put his all into it because I'm seeing now, yes, Cavill is going to be leaving. Cavill's a huge part of the Witcher series. But if he leaves, the series will live, the series will survive. Because I believe if you have the correct actors, the right directors, and right, right, correct writing, it can all be done in such a good and fluent and correct. Uh, uh, cohesive way, and I think this is what Blood Origin did. It's one of the strongest Netflix shows of the year. Uh, <clears throat> you think of Cobra Kai, Stranger Things, you think of this, you think of Lost Ollie, and I think Netflix have been on a huge, huge streak this year, healing it, and I think they'll keep doing it next year when Witch comes out, when Cobra Kai gets revealed and Stranger Things gets more uh, production details, and we get more and more on these shows, but ultimately Blood Origin is a fantastic experience, so immersive, if you're a Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, those sorts of fans, you will very much love this show, but a lot of people have an opinion about it, they want to hate on it because they can't get more info on Cavill, and the reality is Cavill's leaving, and I've come to the realisation that he's leaving a Superman, you have to deal with it, you have to get on with it, you have to mature, you have to deal with these decisions people make, and ultimately, if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it, no one held a gun to your head and went, watch Blood Origin, or watch Witcher Season 3, or continue this, people are saying, watch this, or play the game, why don't you do both, or if you don't give a shit about Blood Origin, go play the game, if you don't care about the game, or the series, don't watch any, simple as that, so, The Witch Blood Origin is a Friggin' good show. People, more people need to watch it. Stop going off the critics. Stop going off the audience score. <clears throat> and go off your own opinions. If you end up hating it, or you dislike it, then that is your opinion. That is your simple fact. But this is my opinion. Blood Origin is a brilliant show. A 10 out of 10 show for me. I had no issues, no quarrels. Nothing I would have added in or taken out. Because I think the pacing was fine. The overall start to finish was done correctly. And in such a 
fluent way. I loved every cast member. I loved the Witcher v the Dragon uh, battle. I loved all the little battles that featured. And ultimately, I loved how they merged the worlds at the end, bringing the first humans to the world. And how the Bard ended with the story on the battlefield he started with in the first episode. So subscribe like as always. Be sure to check out more Witcher content in the new year. And of course, thanks for watching and goodbye.